Hi guys, this is Vijay. So today is episode number two, where we are going to talk about the Arista networking. So, and it's a hardware. So let's take a look what all the hardware Arista has to offer and what all their significant role of those hardware and what is the purpose of using those hardware and what all the switches and routers uh, models be Arista offers. So if you'll see that Arista offers basically uh, three types of products. One is for the on-premises, second is for the cloud, and uh, third is for the virtual environment, right? So uh, in the uh, on-premises and the cloud, if in terms of the networking understanding, so Arista has a virtual uh, uh, COS, CES, uh, and third is VES, which is the, your virtual and cloud uh, 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 virtual cloud devices. You can deploy on the Amazon and your uh, Google Cloud or on your uh, uh, AWS or an Oracle also to uh, achieve the networking within that. But uh, most of the time, these products are not very much famous because uh, these platforms, cloud platform, whether it's a public or private, they have their own native routers, right? Until unless you want to have some centralized solution where you have on-premises also and the uh, and, uh, cloud also and you want to manage through the single interface such as cloud region which is single interface management for the arista in that case you deploy that uh, that kind of scenario now if i come to the uh, the, the second product which is the uh, uh, higher end and less end uh, devices so if you'll see that cisco uh, arista has a lot of uh, uh, devices in terms of in, in, in their portfolio if you come with the 700 series uh, uh, devices those are just uh, pure switches i would say that okay and uh, if you want to go with the higher end such as for the uh, isp deployment or the uh, the data center you know spine switch deployment or leap switch deployment these are the, some higher end devices which you can use for the uh, for your uh, data center deployment. Now, if you come to the, I don't know, what are the leaf and spine modules we have, if you see that these are the 100 to 400 gig spine switches, which Arista can offers. And it depends on your requirement. If you have like multi terabytes of the you know requirement in that case, this is the Bible solution. But if you're having, you know, a uh, less requirement, for example, you have 1000 applications, something like that with the less one gig bandwidth, go ahead with the lower version of the, these uh, devices. If I open that, these are the just modular, just like a Cisco, if you see that, uh, Arista also has a modular and fixed chassis, okay? And these uh, fixed chassis, modular chassis has multiple variations. Like for example, if you go with the 4800 series uh, devices, they have like four modules device, uh, eight line card module device, 12 line card, 16 line card, and the 16 line card large one. So just like a Nexus, 7,000 devices we used to get that, like 7,009, 4, 2, 8, 16, 18, these kind of devices, similar kind of devices. And performance-wise, I would say the more or less is set, this is 90, 100, 90, 80 is more or less same. You will get that they have their own line cards. They have, they have uh, their own uh, supervisor modules. All these uh, things can be checked from the Arista website itself. What all the you know um, uh, pros? What all the profiles it can have? What all the you know limitations or scalability it can have per device basis? We can check from the here. Now, I will upload these uh, uh, you know seats also in the uh, my chat. Uh, in my description so you can go through the you know uh, arista like white paper also like the device based i mm, device based uh, and module based white paper how much you know to to go through the deep dive of those devices now if i come to the another devices which are you know again spine devices with this this is the latest one 7800 series devices these are the 70 500 series devices which are uh uh Again, uh, the, these devices we use as a, as a spine switches in, in our environment, but if you're having a, you know, other requirement, for example, leaf switches, right? Uh, in this case, you have a separate set of devices which can be deployed in the, in the network. Now, if I come to the lower version of the devices, which can be used for the, you know, 
as a leaf switches or for the any other purpose like for example this fixed modules if you have like for 10 gig requirement 25 bit 40 these switches can be used as a leaf switches okay so if i open this device or you can compare you know start the comparison also this is the module specifications you can get here is like ma maximum you can see the forwarding rate is 2 billion packet per second so which is here it's not the small number however if you compare with the you know uh, Cisco devices, Cisco devices, Catalyst devices perform the much better in the fixed modules, especially in 9K devices. They support around 10 billion packet per second. This is the normal common thing for the Cisco. But again, this is not the comparison. If you are willing to go with the, uh, uh, you know, uh, Arista solution, you should be make sure that if you are choosing any devices, what all the, these devices are capable of, what all they are high availability options we have what all the you know uh, rules it can support what all the you know layer two layer three features it can support in your environment right so without deciding that and what particular model number you should be going ahead with that uh, these particular device whether you want 32 port switch whether you want to have the 94 96 port switch or 48 port switches and they have their own specification and also um like what is this their scalability per devices we can uh, always check from here. Now, when it comes to the another series, like for example, if you have the uh, wireless kind of solution, right, uh, where you want to deploy that any of the access point or the any cheaper device which can support the PoE, right. So these are the few models which uh, Arista offers for PoE, right. For example, say 100 series, which is usually we deploy for the campus networking, where we have the uh, you know. Uh, wireless kind of solution uh, requirement of deployment we can use these devices for that now if it when it comes to the you know uh, for the leaf and spine architecture or for the campus uh, data, uh, data uh, kind of deployment in this case the 7500 series switches are usually we use so there is a three categories uh, 700 these switches we usually recommend for the poe okay then we have a, a 7,000 and 5,000 series switches. These switches can be used as a leaf and a spine. Not all the devices can be used as a spine. Not all the devices can act as a leaf switches. More or less, their performance wise, you have to decide that which device will be act as a leaf, which device can be uh, also recommended to use the spine. For example, this one is a 7,200 series switches. This device is, uh, you can use as a leaf and a spine also. If you see that this is the specifications. Of this particular device okay and scalability wise latency is uh, very less uh, as compared to the other vendor also and forwarding this is the major uh, when you when you purchase any data center solution or campus solution the main thing you see check here is uh, the forwarding rate the uh, the maximum throughput the density of the uh, device then the uh, the port capability uh, these are the few major uh, criteria which you use that and the third is the major thing is what is the high availability option this device supports whether this device can support the for example m lab whether this device can support that all the hitless hardware upgrade all these things without any uh, uh, disruption hitless is just like issu in the Nexus devices, same thing is here. Whether these, if you are purchasing device for the like the leaf and spine or the traditional architecture, whether you want to run the VXLAN, whether you want to run the you know some different sort of eVPN solution or advanced routing. In that case, you have to decide that what kind of devices uh, or models you want to use for this kind of purpose. Okay, yeah. So this is uh, the hardware uh, details. I'm not uh, going into the you know part in the modules, all these things. However, the is straightforward. Uh, anyone can get these details uh, using the Arista website, which is the, I would say the most simpler one. But uh, I would say that if you're using, planning to use for the, uh, for example, a service as a service provider, these devices as a C, uh, the customer age or provider is, these devices are capable of using for the service provider also. So Arista offers the campus solution, data center solutions, as well as the service provider solution also. So these devices can be used in a different different environment. If you are using, for example, service provider environment or data center high end devices, I would prefer to go with the seventy five thousand series switches or seventy eight. Uh, I would say seventy five thousand. I would not say seventy five hundred and seventy eight hundred series switches. These are the devices. 
uh, you can say that you have multiple modules which can support that your routing, advanced routing, which can support the advanced switching also. And as I said, uh, it's up to your requirement whether you want to have a better automation, whether you want to have you know a hybrid kind of deployment or integration with the uh, cloud environment. These all the type of uh, whether you want to run IPv6, eBPN, whether you want to run MPLS, VPLS, VXLAN, Lisp, all these kind of features, these devices uh, does support that. So yeah, so before deciding the, uh, uh, you know, what solution we should be going ahead, I would highly suggest that always uh, walk through the hardware specifications, always walk through the, your requirement. Based on the requirement, you can select that. Whether you suppose if you are, uh, you know, have less budget in your environment and you have, you want to have like 10 Wi-Fi, you know, in your environment, uh, access point in your environment. So rather than purchasing that uh, just one vendor, you can purchase the lower version of a lower uh, version of the Arista switches and the, they can be cheaper. The least time for the delivery may, might be cheaper compared to the other vendor. So these are the, some benefits which we can get from the um, using the multi-vendor scenario because if you're going with a single vendor if you're going with the just cisco and if your cisco is providing those devices in three months lease time or 180 days lease time because sometimes you get the one year lease time also for delivery hardware delivery same thing uh in the in case of the arista also some devices some module some model number has their you know lease time higher but some model number uh, they have lease time very less so these kind of advantages we can get using the multi-vendor now, when it comes to the, you know, compare with the Cisco uh, uh, hardware with the Arista hardware or the uh, or the Juniper hardware versus Arista hardware or, or the Aru, Aruba hardware versus the Arista hardware because Aruba also provide the switching solution for the uh, for the campus and data center environment. But uh, I would not say uh, they are competitor. Uh, Cisco and the Arista is a major, uh, you know, competitor. They are a major competitor in terms of the data center technology, in terms of the, the campus solution, uh, in terms of the, like, if you see that Catalyst and Nexus devices, have, they provide the modular switches. For example, they have separate supervisor module. They have separate uh, line cards. Similarly, these devices has also a uh, same kind of, uh, uh, you know, of offering where we can deploy that separate, separate, uh, you know, Super module independent control plane, independent data plane, and these can uh, provide you the better resiliency in the environment and better, you know, uh, the optimization of your uh, networking. Uh, yeah. So and also, uh, it's up to your requirement what you want, what is the specification we are looking for. So if you see that uh, these are the devices which are highly scalable and they offer that multi terabytes of the packet processing per seconds, which is. Uh, the modern application requirement. We cannot say that uh, you know uh, the any devices can we can use as any anywhere. No, we cannot use any devices as a, anywhere. We have to be very uh, careful uh, while selecting the devices, while selecting that their SDN solution, while selecting that their uh, specification. If you see that uh, these are the some uh, modules, the model number which can be used as a ten gig leaf, you know, and uh, which can be used for the spine devices. These are the fixed chassis, you know, where do these devices will not have multiple line cards, multiple control plane, data plane. The devices are, you know, fixed, fixed with the coming with the fixed port. And these are the capacity of these devices. If you see that, this is the, the better view of the, I will upload this slide into the uh, my description also, where you can take a look. This is a, for, a fixed module. What all the features they can support, what all the, you know, uh, maximum uh, details you can get from here. And if you're going with, ahead with the the modular chassis, these are the modular chassis, like 10 to 40 to 100 gig, where you can have multiple line cards. You, you can customize your devices. The modular device means you can customize your devices, what performance you need. Based on that, you can uh, choose that, what combination you need that. You know, those devices may be a little bit of expensive, but yeah, you have option to optimize those devices based on your requirement. You, you can select the one, if, suppose if you're purchasing with the, a uh, four line card or eight line card. You can choose the two line card with the 10 gig line, 10 gig interface, two line card, 400 gig interface, two line card, 400 gig interface. These are the some kind of optimization you can uh, do that. You have the better resiliency for the environment also for multiple, you know, uh, the hot separable uh, fan and the power supply unit. You can, you get that multiple line cards and the uh, 
control plane data plane you get that now when it comes to the you know architecture wise uh, the 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 latest the the trending architecture i would say there is the leaf and spine architecture or two tier architecture where you deploy that uh, you know a vx lan solution lisp solution where you deploy that multi tenancy solution nowadays uh, for those kind of scenario uh, arista is capable of running all the sort of all the sort of scenario whether it's traditional whether it's uh, leaf and spine whether it's for the other kind of uh, uh, you know uh, scenario looking for that now if you, there is a multiple categories if you are looking for one gig management switches cisco uh, the arista also offers these switches as uh, i suppose if you are looking for the management switch option right these are the options 7000 7020 which uh, you can deploy we can deploy as a data also as a for management also just for the you know sake of out of band traffic kind of thing so if you are looking for the low latency switches a very low latency very suppose if you having the you know streaming uh, applications deployment right so those kind of deployment you cannot deploy with the any random device so if you need highly low latency uh, the module or device uh, so arista also offers the 7150 uh, series switch which can you know uh, provide the better and very low latency and you know it can uh, it, you can achieve the cut through uh, uh, forwarding or latency or the uh, you know deployment for using these particular modules now if it, when it comes to the you know uh, power over ethernet poe devices so as we discussed that poe devices has separate module number such as 7 700 series switches 750 720 these are the some switches which can support the poe okay and these are the some tap uh, aggregator devices like for if you're using the three tier architecture architecture you know access layer aggregator layer and uh, the uh, the core layer if i using traditional networking so these are the some modules which we is you know suggested by the arista to use as an aggregator but it's not like we should be always using this aggregator but yeah these are the some applications you know the suggestion from the arista now when it comes to the uh, low latency plus programmable uh, devices as i said this is the 7100 series switches uh, or devices these are the uh, meant to be uh, low latency and the better programmability which can offers the you know meta watch multi access protected protect firewall applications these are applications require low latency and programmable uh, fabric you know so you can use that uh, these particular module number for the high high low latency and uh, for the cut through uh, technologies applications okay and when it comes to the feature of those uh, you know cut through or the the low latency devices these are some uh, devices which can offer for example meta watch advanced networking monitoring it can offer low latency multiplexing it can offer it can offer the connection sharing like like this breakthrough cabling it can offer the firewall protection also it can also offer the switch app uh, switching layer to switching also it it also in have offers the inline time stamping uh for the exchange applications for example microsoft or any other applications if you have in, in your environment okay so these are the uh, hardware overview uh, i will uh, upload this uh, slide so as i said arista also offers the uh, the access points and the wireless solutions so these are the some you know access point if you're using for if you're looking for some uh, uh you know uh 4G, 5G, or uh, based on the your requirement, to so Arista also offers that this kind of uh, uh, you know uh, access point. For example, Wi-Fi 6, it offers that Wi-Fi uh, 5 if offers that for 5G and 6G and for other band based on the your requirement. What you're looking for? Uh, yeah, uh, this is all. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, the next session will be the. I will walk through the. Uh, uh, uh license solutioning how the arista license offering works here this is the pure uh, is about the hardware i will attach this uh, uh slide in the description you can walk through that this is the open source you, anyone can see that and if there is any question please uh, do let us uh, know that uh, i would be more than happy to guide you for the any kind of uh, purchase any kind of uh, uh you know uh if you're looking for any kind of help in the arista networking thanks for watching we see you in next session